Uh, thank you for that. Um, we appreciate it so much, Casey. I, I do want to explain a little bit about um, what we dealt with as a family with dementia. And the reason we mm -hmm. wanted to talk about this is because so many people are experiencing uh, the same thing. So my mom was diagnosed with dementia uh, probably a little bit more than a decade ago. And, um, and she, for a long time, she was doing really well. There was a lot of anxiety associated with that. People who live with people who have dementia know what that's like, not being able to sleep, all those things. And then it came to a point where she did forget us, which is always your worst fear. Um, so I have talked about it with all of you, um, and I finally posted something um, right before her birthday, her 91st birthday last um, August. And tens of thousands of people have viewed this and, and emailed me about this and texted me. Uh, I want to share it with you so you can see kind of a little bit what it's like and how you can have tender love between someone who might not know who you are. Who's your youngest daughter? Who's your baby? Lynette. Yep. Lynette's your baby, huh? Yeah. What do you think of Lynette? Oh, I love her. <laughs> She loves you too. Uh, she loves you. Yeah. You haven't seen her in a while, huh? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. I haven't. But guess what? Yeah. Guess what? She's here. She's here? <laughs> Where? I'm right here. I'm with that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You know, we had that conversation about five times. She yeah. said she was really excited because her daughter was, I, when she saw me, I thought, she said, oh, hello. And I thought, oh my God, she knows me. And then she said, um, they told me my daughter Lynette is coming. Do you know when she'll be here? So then I realized she didn't know it was me. But even when she talked about me, she said, she, you know, she, I felt the love. Um, and that's, that's one of the hardest things when you deal with dementia is how to navigate that. Um, and. We, we tried really hard to, to make it work, and we wanted just to know her, that she was safe. I wanted her to be safe and feel secure and feel loved, and I think she did. We were so grateful to St. John of God, which is um, the, the facility that took care of her uh, when we couldn't anymore for the last few months of her life. And then also they allowed us to be there to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. um, Kaiser Hospice was there with us. They helped us uh, as well to allow us to, to, to be able to say goodbye with the dignity that she deserved. Um, and people have been asking me, what can I do? And, and so uh, we have uh, we've teamed up with Alzheimer's Association, uh, California, the Southland chapter. And so we're asking you if, you if you feel so inclined, if you are going through the same kinds of things. They have a lot of research out there and support the Alzheimer's Association. There's a tribute page in honor of my mom. Um, and there's a link on the KTLA website that you can link to it. I also have it on my, I'll have it on my Instagram as well. And, and more of the video where, I, where we really connect and, and show how you can love someone who um, is in that little cloud, but they deserve to be loved and, and be, you know, have dignity. and. Mm -hmm. And all the support we can give them. So, if you feel so inclined, you can you can reach out. So, thanks to all of you, and thanks to you for sharing. Because I, I I know this isn't. Can, can I ask you really quickly? Mm -hmm. um, I know you haven't had a lot of time. Mm -hmm. When you see photos of her on your phone, are, are you do you, do you want to see them right away? Are are you going through the albums right now? How how does how does that you know, process it, work? It's so funny. Some of them make me laugh. Uh -huh. Some of them make me cry. Um, and I. I, I want to just show you some of these. If, if we have a second, come back out and I'll, on the Instagram. I mean, I'm, I mean, on the iPad, you can see <laughs> my mom was really funny and so gorgeous. This is a picture of her and my dad, um, and this is Aww. I don't even know what year this was. This was actually before he got sick, so this must be in the like in the 80s, early, maybe even the late 70s. I was gonna say late 70s. And then look at this. Look at how wow. handsome they were. Look at her. <laughs> Um, you know, he was in the service. Can you zoom in on that one? I really yeah, like that look photo. At, oh, wait, wait, oh. wait. Okay, look at her. How gorgeous is she? And that outfit. In fact, she lost so much weight. She was only 105 pounds. But she uh -huh. told me, I think that she was about 100 pounds when she married my dad. And I said to her one morning, I said, Mom, you know, they're going to have, he's waiting for you. There's a big party and you're, you're at your, you know, pre-baby weight. You're 100 pounds. Right. You could get into this suit again. Um, but she just was so, so much fun, so gorgeous. She loved Lulu. She would carry Lulu around in a baby carrier. Um, but, you know, you could see how much love there is. And, and we took her to the beach with us, which she did not love. But we found a, a nice, safe spot for her. 
Um, and we just tried to give her a happy life. That's my brother and my three sisters, Robin, Debbie, Peggy, and my brother, Leroy. Mm. So just, oh. there's so much of us. It could just go on and on. Um, and, and I hope that what this will do for you is make you reach out and hug those who you love and, and don't forget to tell them that you love them.